consonants. Same as Spanish. P, post. Post. Except that it's not quite the same as Spanish because an American person does not do as much plosive as an English person. Plosives are the... It's like an explosion. Plosive, like an explosion. It's an onomatopoeic word. What is onomatopoeia? What you're saying, right? Isn't it like this? Uh, a, 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 I mean, what you're saying sounds like. Yes, exactly. What you're so to say. it's a plosive. So English people do more plosive than American people. This is one of the things that make you sound more English. Like the man ten. Man ten. Because American, man and man. It's the same. Man ten. Man ten. Home. Home. Also, here, English people do a lot more plosive than Spanish or American. So we will go p, p. So when you're working on a microphone, when I use a microphone because I do voiceovers, you will hear like a p. You hear that? P. Not nice. Plosive. Post. Yeah? Spanish people don't do that. An American goes backwards, so they'll go like plosive. And I'll say plosive. You hear that right. in... You hear that air going onto the microphone, okay? Post. Post. And it's the same as home. It's the O. Post. Post. That sounds very posh. No, that sounds very like English banking. No? Right. Because these people sound pretty posh. They do, yeah. They, do. they have their own language. Yes, because they go to Oxford and Cambridge and Harvard and they sound very... They come from good families and whatever. Box. Box. Tent. Tent. Again, at the Spanish, say a D at the beginning of a word. But at the ends of the words, what do the Spanish say for the letter D? I would say D as well. The capital of Madrid is? Madrid. Madrid. And what are you saying there for a D at the end? Madrid. It's like a TH. Uh, like I, I, maybe I don't say it. Maybe you don't say it, maybe it's like a T, maybe it's half there. Yeah. In English, there's no name for it, which I can't remember, but this word is the same forward as backwards. So it's a D at the beginning and a D at the end. Because you're Spanish, you will say the D in the middle and the D at the beginning nicely. And the D at the end, you will do what? Forget about it. Forget about it. Right. So you need to remember... The D at the ends of the words. Dad. Dad. Madrid. Madrid. You will find that in order to do it, you have to do an extra syllable. You will have to say like Madrid or Dada. We don't want that. We want to just have the pure Dad. Saying a bit like a T. We will need to work on that. It's not clear. Cat. Same as Spanish. Cat. Uh, Cat. Gone. Gone. Then here, we have a pair. One is vibrating and one is not. This does not vibrate. This is just... Put your hand in front of your mouth. Fox. Fox. Can you feel the air? Fox, yeah, I can hear the air. The air, yeah. Then we have a pair with the same sound but vibrating. Okay? You don't have this vibrating V in Spanish in from Spain. No? Love. Love. That's it. It's got a vibration on. Put your finger just here on your bottom lip. Can you feel that vibration? It's like, do you like the Formula One? Yeah. Yeah, so it's like. I see what you mean. It's like um, the V12 Ferrari engine. It's a. Love. Love. Because you will want to say what? Love. 
love. You, you won't say a B you, at the be- end, you'll say a be- beginning, but at the end you will say an F. So you want to cut out the F. Love. 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 Next one, same with Spanish, theta. Think. 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 Then you have a pair. This one, think, is just escape of air. Put your hand in front. No, no vibration. So you can feel the air. Huh? Yeah. Second one, the same, but with vibration. That. Sorry. <coughs> that. <coughs> Where is your tongue? In between the teeth. How far does it come out? Maybe like half a centimeter? Right. Let me see. Your tongue's not coming out. Get your phone out. Turn your... Turn your... Turn your... My phone? Yeah. So, get your... Yeah, get your video camera out. So you can look at, you know how you can record it or not record it? Okay, now let's, re- let's record it, why not? I want to see the tongue coming out half a centimetre. Like this? Yeah, like this. Look at me. Think. Think. Okay, Think. you recording it? I'm not, I don't know how to record it. Uh, da, 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 video. Right. And you just press the red button. Think. Think. Then we have the same tongue position. Think. But we have added vibration. That. That. So we need that half centimeter of tongue. I think, I think that, that this is. I, I, I think that. I, sorry. I think that. This? That's it, with the tongue, with the tongue. This? This. Will that exaggerate it? I think that and this is the same. Yes. That, this. I I think that this. They think that this. Um, They think that this. Okay, you got it. Okay, so you need to practice also with the mirror or with the telephone so you can see. I've never noticed this before, right? You learned English with the vowels and the nouns. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't learn this specific thing because your English is wonderful. We don't need to teach you fucking English. You haven't made any mistakes yet apart from the pronunciation. No, your brain's got English. If I find mistake, I'll tell you. But so far, it's all cool. Okay. But this is why it's really good to have somebody who's so good as you are mm. that we can just look at this. No, no, we don't need to waste time with the other shit. Right. Well, let's the see. phrasal verbs or something. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's see. So far, so good. Next pair. First one, no vibration. Second one, vibration. Okay. S you got a weak z So what does this sound like? Like a snake. Like a snake. So imagine you're reading a book to the children. Now and you have to make the snake noise. Let's make the snake noise now. A bigger snake. That's not a very good snake. No. Children are like, Daddy, this is a shitty snake. We want the fucking big snake. Except they don't talk like this, do they? <laughs> okay. You've never done acting, you've never done yoga or Pilates where you know how to breathe, no? Yeah. Because I do yoga, so you learn how to breathe and you get more power in your lungs and stuff. 
So step by step. <laughs> get air in. It's a good exercise to give a really long one. So